Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more of our Shahanasha, or however it's pronounced, into this is Persia campaign here in EU4. Um, barring any kind of major issues with uh, the way that this peace deal works out, we may be able to just be one war away from forming Persia. Um, there's no Diplotech requirement or Admin Tech or anything like that. says we need oh let's unify islam um yeah so all we need is uh well actually we could totally do it this war if we wanted to um at peace so we just need we would need to take we, we need yazd just because we want the zoroastrian province so that's the minimum minimum would be these four here Mac, what we want is this, because Kerman. Yes. So that that would be good, and then we need this Yaz, these two, and this. Th so we. Yes. Okay. Cool. Anyways, let's see where we're at here. We are at war. QQ is with us. Um, John Poor joined, but I don't think that's really going to be a problem. I am going to leave where we're at here. Um. Let's just go ahead and like send some guys in other places just so we can Man, they're sieging everything down. He's gonna be full occupied in no time um... Let's go ahead and click this button again Come on now, where's it at? Uh, government I'm going to Spend one click there Interesting. Yeah, it's not gonna work. All right, so let's get you guys over there. Let's get you guys over here to bomb with a with a siege guy. This should work out just fine. And honestly, oh yeah, somehow. Oh whoa whoa whoa. Um, oh they're not gonna attack me anymore. We're good. Free stab. Free stab is good stab. So we have this one province down here. So yeah, we need these. Ugh, it's gonna be tough. It is a conquest war, but uh, that's a tough one. So let's come on down here. Let's make sure that they cannot get on that one. So I do wanna make sure that I can get admin tech as, and mill tech as soon as possible. Um, though maybe mill tech can wait a bit. I don't want to get too far ahead. So, Transoxiana War for Independence is going quite well for them. Are they at war with uh, John Poor as well? Oh yeah. So yeah, Timmy is uh, not looking too good. Not looking too hot, my friend. Kazakh Mook has 6k men. You guys definitely don't have to attach to me. This one's going well so far. For a mountain province, it's going quite quickly. Granted monopoly, so I think that means... I'm be disloyal for a couple months. But uh, it's not an issue. Yeah, it is actually an issue because it makes them an extra 10%. That's fine. I can wait 10 months to get our loyalty up so we can do a couple of dev clicks. Side with the Ulema or the Emirs or neither party. That's fine. That is quite the... Uh, let's go ahead and take that manpower actually. That'll be super good for us. Oh yeah, come on in babies. The more the merrier. We want to overwhelm the uh, the Timurids. The Timurs, the sons of Timur. The true heirs of Timur. We won the Siege of Bomb, very good. And uh, basically anything that we win right now is gonna be transferred over to us, which is just super good like this. We'll get transferred over to us. 
So this is all just like best case scenario right now. Things are going very well. Three months until we can finish off deving the Renaissance, which is really good for us. National tax modifier or lose a stab. Uh, well, I guess losing tax it is, because I'm not losing a stab. Certainly not. Okay, very good. You guys don't need to be attacking to me. Attaching to me, I mean. Shia zealots have risen up. Um, I mean, I don't care. I don't care if they're in his lands, that's for sure. So let's see if we can maybe find a good fight and uh, beat up on these guys. How is your independence war coming? So it is going. How is your unrest? War exhaustion is pretty high. 8.2. Okay. Well, this is going quite well, actually. Somehow, he's black flagged. I, I don't know how that works out, but that's fine as well. I'm kind of waiting for him to just kind of pop up randomly. Looking to siege down some of my lands. He's sieging down this stuff over here. So let's see here. So I'm going to try something a little cheeky over here. We're going to uh, see if we can bait him into a bad offensive fight in the mountains. Oh, well, instead I'm taking a bad fight in the desert, which is kind of dumb, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> and then he runs in and gets stack wiped. Whoopsies. Well, it's okay. I don't know why Gaz Gazik Mook's back there. Let's have you go ahead and uh, run some sieges for me, brother. Did I... Okay, I did do this one. Um... Let's see, can I get money from them now? I can. I can totally get money from them. Very good. So, let's go ahead and... Beautiful. Let's switch you back over to local trade. There's now 37 dev. We can automatically embrace it, which is awesome! And we can probably sell it. But end up with monthly deficits. I wonder if this old trick works. We can do this, so then we'll sell it to them. Oh, wow. Um, let's uh, run away from that. Well, this is really good, though. Um, so, these guys broke free, which is really good. Um... Damn. Yeah, no, that was totally an accident. But uh, what was I going to be doing there? I was about to do something and I forgot what it was. Um, yeah, that's a bummer. I totally forgot what I was about to do. Anyways, what we're going to be doing is piece. this is the piece that we're looking for. Totally doable. Wait. No, 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 no. You guys get none of this. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. There will be no such thing. Oh. I am so disappointed. Hmm. Yeah, this is bad. That he gets to take all these claims. This is triggering me so bad. He's going to claim all of this land for himself. Now, it would be really cool if... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. We need the manpower for sure. They have a lot of men. Um, 
So Mewat is like an OPM. Junpur, I don't think it's going to last with them. This is mountains. I can totally reinforce. Uh, I think I probably should. Let's reinforce with this guy. Oh, wait. They're not doing that anymore. Um, okay. I would prefer it if you guys siege this back. That's fine with me. Because <clears throat> this is all land that I'm going to need to be taken from you guys. Oh, right. I am totally giving him... Right. I forgot. Well, that's annoying. Cancel those subsidies, eh? Because I'm totally just giving him subsidies for no reason. There we go. And that giant old army they have there is uh, quite intimidating, so I'm just going to run away real quick. So this is mountains, though. I could probably fight this. Hmm. Shia Zealots. More Shia Zealots. Yeah, they're definitely going to get converted. No chance. They do not stand a chance. Uh, let's turn that fort off, see if we can save some money. Mm-hmm. So this is tough. <clears throat> They're gonna be sieging down a bunch of stuff. The sooner we can get John Poor out, the better. But uh, that's gonna be easier said than done, I suppose. Chagatai has gone bankrupt. These guys are basically loyal. They will be very soon. Unfortunate. Junpoor is at l medium. They're only in one war. In a few months, they'll be able to. We'll be able to piece them out, which would be ideal. So ideally, we'd be able to get over here, but uh, I don't really know how we're gonna get through this land through these guys. Um, I suppose we could attack. Will they reinforce quickly? It will reinforce, not quickly enough though, so we're gonna have to fr flee, but uh... Really? Did I lose all those men? What? That's... Quite the loss that they took there. I suppose that's fine though. I don't really care. If you guys want to go over there on that fort, that's totally fine with me. So, next month, I reckon... here basically I just need to make sure that I'm the one that gets all this land so John Poor will peace out which is good uh, so that narrows this down to quite an easy win for us I don't want them to take bomb so I want to deny them if I can so all of this should be going to myself oh they gave up on the siege well that's just about best case scenario Okay, cool. So, this is the peace. This will allow me to form Persia in 1434. Um, the coalition will likely not form, especially if I can improve relations with these guys. So let's do that. I don't reckon this war is going to be over in the very near future. It's going to take some time. <clears throat> so... And I'm also going to want to take as much money from them as I possibly can. So, let's see here. Outrageous. Let's go ahead and carpet siege those guys down over here. If we can get onto their fort, their capital fort, and siege them down, that should basically finish this off. And they're going to come over here and try to siege this stuff down, of course. Because why wouldn't they? Just these little random stacks running all over the place. They have no centralization. So it's nice that Fars, Transoxiana, and Afghanistan broke free. That's good for us. So let's see here. So this is, uh... Good. Okay. Are they going to attach to us? They totally are. Are not. There they go. 
I'm gonna attack these guys over here, which is good if they hold on for like a day. No, feels bad. No general though, so it's good for us. Um, that they're gonna reinforce? Yep. Alright, feels bad, man. Let's go ahead and, uh, free, flee down here. I don't think they can get me down here. And they're just gonna carpet siege everything. Oh, it's so annoying. Okay. Well, let's see what's going on here. If I can siege down his capital, let's go ahead and, uh... Those rebels are really going to win that fight, too. I am so annoyed. Why do you have Afghan separatists attacking my men? Oh, this is triggering me. That is so tilting. Okay, whatever, dude. Let's get some up upgraded men. See if we can win a couple of fights over here. These guys are going to peace out pretty soon. Um... Let's just go up to his capital. And just like that, I'm 5k in the hole. Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. And the rebels really took over. Let's see here. I should have a low garrison, which is... No, what? No. Where did you come from? Did they or did they not just literally appear there? Okay, man. QQ, please just finish them off, man. I'm so tilted. If they don't give this to me, I swear I'm gonna lose my mind. They gave it to them. Oh my gosh. Just trying to finish this up. I have to have this province. So let's see if we can get onto his capital. There we go. Have those rebels come on over. Um, Merchant Guild loyalty? No. Yeah, I think I'd rather have Merchant Guild than them. Let's go ahead and uh, slacken recruiting standards again. I'll just spend the mill points for another general. Can't believe that those rebels just randomly walked over and killed my army. So frustrating, honestly. Now I just need to wait for these guys to peace out. And now I have rebels, Yazdi rebels. Get you guys over here. I'm not gonna fight them. They can uh, come and fight me. Let's actually come on up. Oh. Defend your lands. Do it. Defend your lands. Whenever we win their capital, we can peace out. It's just gonna be a matter of like letting them siege this province back and just waiting on it, honestly. This bump, much of a bummer as this is. There's just a lot of. Uh, lost a bunch of claims, which is fine, I guess. So we won that siege, which is nice. Can you guys siege this back, please? I want you to. Yeah, I get call for pizza, and these guys have high enthusiasm. I'm triggered, man. I'm so tilted. I'm not giving them anything. I will give them absolutely nothing. Nothing. Um, I'll just sit on this as long as I need to until they're willing to peace out. Just peace out. If I have to sit here on her for 20 months, I'll do it. I'm not peacing out. Get out of the war. Absolute wiener, man. If I wanted to, I could give them this province, which... Somehow won't give... Oh, QQ Peast. Really? Huh. Well, that's interesting. I didn't even realize it. That's funny. Alright, so what is this looking like? Nope. Absolutely not. 
There we go. So they're getting sieged down by in another war. If you guys would take this one, that would be great for me. Yes, please. Siege this one. No, siege this one. He's going to peace out right now. We're going to take these provinces back. Come on now. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. They're fighting rebels, getting killed by rebels. You have low enthusiasm. Your capital is being sieged. Just get out of the war. Oh, come on. As soon as his capital falls, he'll peace out. But like, I'm taking on so much war exhaustion for this. Just win, please. Thank you. Peace out. Peace out, please. Please. There we go. That'll help out our finances a bit. They pieced out that war, but not this one. <sighs> Watch them peace out and take this province. That would not surprise me in the slightest. Are they really just going to sit on it? I don't know why they won't do it. Peace out, please. This is the dumbest thing ever, man. Oh, hey. Not bad. Wait, what? No, oh, screw you, dude. Get out of there. What a joke. I'll just keep buying it down. I mean, this is literally just the most dumb thing I've ever experienced. Just peace out, dude. You have no reason to be in this war. Just peace out. And I lost bomb. There we go. Now we got an heir that's somewhat competent. Uh, is he now Shia? He's not. He's not going to peace out, is he? And I'm going to have wasted all that Diplo for no reason. All right, well, I'll give it to him, and then I'll just have to turn right around and completely smash him, which is going to trigger me so bad. What, is there anybody else who I could give this province to? John? So let's see here. Uh, definitely, what in the world? No. Give me this, this, and this, and then release a job. That is doable. Give me all your money. These guys hate me for some reason, because I have cores. Um, but I will go ahead and threaten them. Or, I mean, send them a warning. I will send them a warning as well. You are not allowed to attack this guy. He is mine. We have all those provinces now. Kermani separatists. Let's get you guys down here. Luristan is still super disloyal. Because of reasons. Tyrant Overlord. Yeah, that'll happen actually. It's understandable. So let's see here, are we missing? We're only at 13 for some reason. So we only have the one, uh, one Merc. Let's go ahead and make sure that we are um, suppressing rebels where we need to be. Beautiful. I will wait on this mill tech until I get this, so that way I don't have to take the un, uh, What's it called? Unbalanced research penalty? Uh, yep, legalism, legalism. Very good. Super big tech discounts, not to be discounted at all. Let's go ahead and switch over to admin focus. 
I think our first group is going to be religious anyways, so it would make sense to switch over. And let's also go ahead and pick a guy for inflation reduction. Let's go ahead and turn that fort off. And let's make a quick check here. All we need is this one province, right? Because we have Yazd. We have Kerman. It's just going to be this one province. He's allied to Georgia, which is fine. Let's go ahead and get a couple of you guys down there. That will bring us up to our force limit. You will be upgraded. You will... As soon as we're done coring that, we'll be upgraded as well. Very good. Let's go ahead and... Um, spend a couple points making these guys loyal. Or not. That is... go and I would like to just go ahead and annex them whenever we can it's gonna be some time just send him a gift it's fine build that guy there and now we're just waiting um, Yazdi separatists are probably never gonna fire, so let's go ahead and turn our army like halfway down. Get some money in the bank if we can. Those guys are never gonna like me. Do we have a coalition though? Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Let's, um, transfer subjects at half cost would have been a nice one, but uh, let's go with adaptive combat bonus. That'd be a good one for us, I think. <clears throat> Let's also go ahead and uh, trade efficiency sounds quite nice. Give us some extra money. I always like it when those guys you can get those guys because they basically like help pay themselves off. Let's go with land maintenance modifier as well. See, and now we are uh, one core away. He's just allied to, uh, so we're gonna wait until ninety six. For some reason, that is a really long truce. France has gone bankrupt. Interesting. So it looks like Burgundy has taken bites out of France. I believe this is a French province in the beginning. Um, what all is French provinces? This is all Burgundy. So he lost Maine, was taken by that. Oh my goodness, that's a weird looking port, Aragon. Okay, I take it the Iberian Wedding never formed. Coalition. Interesting. Austria looks normal. Bohemia looks normal, has eaten Silesia. Looks like Poland is looking quite good. They did not take the Jagellion though, never a good call. August is uh, looking all right though. Looks like England has taken no land over there. Very cool. So we have this Zoroastrian province. Um, I'm not actually sure exactly the way that it works, but uh, basically it would be like... What I would do is I would um, send a missionary, make it sure that I wasn't actually making progress on the conversion, and then I would have them siege me down convert my lands for me and then I would accept their demands and they would become you know Ugh, this is so dumb I'm spending so many admin points but this is going to be so worth it in the long term because we're going to be rich but it's just it hurts because I want to get this tech big time this is fine I'm going to go ahead and spend some mill points the more manpower we get the better honestly I'm okay with not being super far ahead because most of my neighbors are gonna be right there anyways. Um, oh, yeah, this is a good event. So, real quick before we end the episode, this uh, radical reforms thing, basically you have to have a trade guy and um, an inflation reduction guy, and I have both of them. Normally, it would fire them, but you can't fire them if you don't have them in your court. 
And then you just rehire them. So you just pay money for 400 points, which is pretty sweet. And uh, pretty much always worth it, in my opinion. Learned that from a Roomba, so thank you to the guy, a Roomba. But uh, that's gonna do it. We are looking quite good. Started as an OPM right here. And in 40 years, we are up to uh, almost, nah, not almost world power, but we are up to 193 dev, so that's pretty good. Hope you guys are excited to see how we can go after this. Um, as soon as we get this one province, we're going to be able to click the button and form Persia and get the Shoshana, Shasha, Shashaha, Shoshana, I don't know, whatever, that achievement. And then after that, it's going to be smooth sailing. We're just going to go ahead and conquer and conquer and conquer and conquer until this is Persia is reached. And I'm excited. Hope you guys are too. Show your support. Leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget to check out the Discord. And if you want to support me on Patreon, links are in the description down below. Follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. Links are also down below. And with all of that, this is Chewy Shoe, and I'll catch you guys later. A big special thanks to Bloodbound92, Valentel, CWG, Dutch Terror, J Clampett, Yodaldo, Classified for Life, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Palmer, Jonathan Crane, Airborne Animal, and all my other awesome supporters on Patreon. I appreciate you guys. Check out the two series linked on the left and the right, and don't forget to subscribe.